Hello and welcome to my channel Nails by Tina. My name is Tina and in today's video we will be learning about 100 plus years of nail technology. This is a continuation of my previous video History of Nail Technology. So if you haven't already watched it yet be sure to check it out after this one. Before we proceed further don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. The period between 1900 and 1919 saw tremendous change to the nail industry. The California Perfume Company, which we now know as Avon, introduced a manicuring set that included the nail bleach and rose pomade nail tint. Cutex sold clear and rose tinted liquid nail polishes, whereas Ornet released a nail care implements made of tempered steel, which were decorated with coveted materials like ivory, ebony, or gemstone. As a result, the nail industry experienced a period of rapid growth and expansion during this time with the production of a nail increasing significantly. The 1920s saw the rise in the popularity of moon manicure, a manicure in which the lunula and the tip is left bare. This new fashion was popularized by silent movie star who wore it on screen and it quickly became a trend for the decade. The first acetone-based nail polish remover was released by Cutex during this decade. Also, manicurists offered nail bricks repair with the help of shredded strip of tea bags in this decade. During 1930s, we got our first modern nail polish that used pigments rather than dye. From the collaboration of Charles Revson, the founder of Revlon, and Michel Mernard, makeup artist of the time, who got the inspiration from advanced automobile paint. Among fashion forward women, the moon manicure with sharp and pointed tips became popular. Due to the Great Depression, nail polish also became a way to express one's individual style as an affordable luxury. 1940s was the time when weekly manicure became popular because of its affordability. Thanks to the blockbuster movies that started being filmed in colors that showed the nail colors of actresses that sparked new trends including half moon manicure and fully painted nails, not only long with oval or almond shaped tips got popular but matching lipstick shades to nail polishes became a fashion statement too. During 1950s, for the first half of the decade, weekly manicure appointments were still popular, but rest half of the decade there was a great decline in favor of at-home care. Long red nails set a trend by Rita Hayworth in 1953. While Juliet Marjolaine's nail enhancement services, called Juliet Wraps, that used fiber-like paper to wrap the top third of the nail for strength and durability was introduced. We got our first acrylic nail company, Patty Nails, by Dr. Fred Slack at that time. 1960s had frosted pastel polish colors extremely popular. During this decade, the color televisions became a household staple. This new technology allowed viewers to clearly see the details of musicians such as their nails while they held the microphone. These made them trendsetters in the eye of public. The technology advanced where the nail tips, if detached, were able to be reattached with model airplane glue. To ensure that the nail tip stayed in place, thin strands of cotton 
and permanent wave paper were used to reinforce them. Flower child nail art was introduced in the second half of these decades. 1970s brought in the first acrylic nail services offered by nail technicians. French manicure, where the nail beds are left clear with white tips and rich fillers that makes rich nail appear smoother, were introduced by Jeff Pink. Long, sculpted nail was trending because of the singers like Sheer and Diana Rose. While acrylic nail continued to improve, the nail art including decals, jewels, metallic strips, and hand-drawn images gained popularity during the 1980s. These decades made silk nail wraps followed by linen and fiberglass nail wraps most popular. Nail polish colors ranged from natural to dark and neon colors were trending. And long nails with square tips ruled the decade. Natural manicure and pedicure services showed a resurgence in 1990s. For services like French manicure, the use of airbrush was made common. While the UV gel gained popularity, we got our first spa pedicure system introduced in the professional beauty industry. Now, the new trend was to have square oval nail tips. Welcome to the 21st century, where the industry saw our very first nail technician shortage. This was due to the increasing popularity of UV gel enhancements, natural leveling capabilities, permanent shine properties, and no odor formulations. As a result, the demand for nail technicians grew significantly. Nail polish formulation also evolved to become chip resident and fade resistance. And unsafe ingredients were eliminated from many professional brands. Pedicure also became the second most requested nail service, followed by manicures, further increasing the need for the qualified nail technicians in the industry. Since 2010, the UV gel manicure has swept the nation. Acrylic dip powders have re-entered the professional nail industry, offering improved results. Hand-painted and nail stamping, nail arts have become the most popular add-on services for those looking to customize their manicure. These trends have been embraced by both professional nail technicians and those who prefer to do their own nail at home. It is truly impressive to consider the fact that nail technology has been around for more than 100 years. Throughout this time, the industry has continued to evolve and grow providing us with a variety of tools and products that make it easier to care for our nails. From the invention of electric nail file to the development of gel polishes, the advancement in the nail technology have been remarkable. It is no wonder that the nail care has become so popular and widely accepted in the modern society. Indeed, the fact that nail technology has been around for more than 100 years is the testament to its lasting impact and influence. Did you know that there are more than 400,000 licensed nail technicians in the US alone? This is an incredible number of professionals dedicated to providing quality nail services. If you have any fascinating facts about nails that you would like to share, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm always eager to learn more about this interesting industry. And yes, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment on my video. See you in the next video. Bye.